Here's yet another example for a system of linear inequalities. Let's graph the first one. There's no x here, so this is really saying 0x minus 1 if you're looking for slope-intercept. Y-intercept is at negative 1, but there's a slope of 0. It says go up 0 and then over. This is a horizontal line. There is no angle. Y is greater than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. The last part, if you remember, when graphing any inequality is to consider the shading. Where do we color this in? Well, y is bigger than this line. If I put my pencil on this line, y is bigger, that's positive, that's up. So we're going to go ahead and start coloring in above that line. That entire region is our solution to the first inequality. Now that that region is done, let's go ahead and graph the second linear inequality. It has a y-intercept of 1 right here and has a slope of two-thirds. This says from this point you go up two units and over three units. We have the two points we need for our line. This is equal to, so once again it will be a solid line instead of a dotted. Put our arrows on there. And now we've got to take care of the shading of this one as well. If I put my pencil on the line anywhere, it doesn't matter where. It says y, which is up and down, is smaller than the line. To go smaller, you must go down. So we're going to shade below this first line. And ultimately, we're looking for the area that shades both green and red. Now that our shading's done, we can take a look at our final solution set. One line gave us the upper region in red. Another line gave us the lower region in green. However, we need the intersection of those two. We need to know where it's both red and green. That is right here. So any point you take out of this region, any point, it could be the origin 0, 0, could be the point 1, 1, could be the point 3, 1, any point you find in this double colored region will work for both inequalities. That's why this entire colored area is our solution set.